Uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video will show you how to set up a, a new account in your chart of accounts. Okay, here is your uh, home page screen, uh, QuickBooks 2016, and chart of accounts is right here, or you can go to chart of accounts from here, list under list, and also under company, they have chart of account. So let's click this one. Okay, so now uh, you want to uh, add a new account. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It, under uh, at the bottom, you will see account, and here you select N or Control N, like this, or you can just uh, right-click it on uh, chart of accounts page, and you will see new in here as well. Okay, so once you are in here, oh, we have a separate video. Uh, if you want to check it out regarding uh, account types, it's a detailed one. So on this one, let's say you want to create a bank account. You just open a new bank account. Just select bank and click continue. Okay, so account type is bank. Account type is bank. In case you uh, picked the wrong type, you can just click it here. And you can select uh, uh, the right type. Let's say you want to create a bank account. Uh, let's say Chase Checking. Like this. And uh, uh, if you want to account number then you have to enable account number in here to do that you have to go to preferences and under accounting you will see use account numbers use account number uh, like this uh, right now uh, don't want to use it then you know uh, you don't want to use it uh, so right here let's check your account okay and if there is a sub account of something then you select in here and there's a separate video for how to create sub account and what's the benefit of creating sub account so you can check that one out too uh, in this case I'm just gonna make this a uh, home uh, parent account okay so just a checking and a description you can just copy and paste so this is a description you will see on your uh, uh, chart of accounts page uh, description and then uh, if you want you can bank account fill out the bank account or routing number bank account or routing number uh, and if you don't want to disclose it that's fine too just leave the way it is and uh, the tax line mapping it has uh, it's directly related to how you uh, uh, open your uh, company file uh, you know so when, when you create a company file it would ask you is this a sole proprietorship or uh, or what is it? Uh, they ask you, you know, is it a sole proprietor or S corporation? So it depends upon how you selected the tax form. Uh, that's how it goes. So one, you can change it uh, uh, later on, but that would be uh, uh, just going through the company right here, company, and then uh, select there's a small pencil there and select the report information and then just change it and. Uh, uh, if you uh, don't want to see this tax line mapping at all, uh, in this case it's a Schedule C, so there's no uh, balance in account uh, involved for tax Schedule C, uh, then you don't need the the uh, uh, the, the uh, tax line mapping for the uh, uh, bank account. But uh, if you're going to uh, use your TurboTax, so this is basically mapping to TurboTax. So if you're going to use your mapping uh, and use TurboTax, then uh, then you will you got to select uh, uh, something here. This this one is Schedule C, so there's nothing to un, uh, to sign. There's no uh, balance sheet account need to be selected on tax on Schedule C. So you want to see the uh, report in here. You just go to list account listing here, or from account and taxes. There's an account listing. So in here you will see tax line mapping. All these are tax line mapping the way you assign, uh, you know, uh, all the tax line uh, so that you can, uh, when you create uh, uh, TurboTax, and it will basically try to match all these accounts to your tax form. So that's the whole purpose of that one. And uh, if, you, if you're not going to use uh, TurboTax, or uh, if you're going to uh, hire outside accountant, uh, then th in this case that doesn't matter. And uh, if you don't allow to see this one, all you have to do is uh, 
uh, just select the other non, then it will hide uh, uh, that this tax line mapping. Okay, so and how about the opening balance? Uh, so normally, it, it, although it's there, so normally you don't want to uh, select the opening balance, especially if you're gonna link or sync this uh, account to your bank account, uh, because when you download your uh, uh, your uh, banking transaction, it will also create uh, opening balance as well, so you don't want to have duplicate. And if you need to enter it, you can manually enter it as well. So uh, in this case, you know, just click it. Uh, it will tell you how much money you have in your bank account, starting ending balance, ending date. Uh, so it depends. Normally, I just leave this blank and uh, and uh, take care of it later. So, so in this case, you have save and close or save and new. I'm just going to save and new. Okay, so this one. Let's say you want to create another Chase Savings. Right here. And uh, uh, I'm going to show you what happens if you enter the opening balance in here. Okay, statement ending balance. Let's say uh, ending balance is 1,000, and ending date is, uh, let's say, September 30th. Okay, so the moment I click this one, it will uh, create a transaction, new transaction, uh, and it will show $1,000 in your uh, uh, check register for savings account, and uh, I'll show you what happens to the other side. Okay, I'm going to save and close. Uh, all right, so I'm going to go to check register in here. This is your check register. So it will ask you which account. So I'm going to select savings. Okay, here's that $1,000. So it went to uh, the other side, went to open and balance equity. So here's your opening balance. It's basically uh, added as a deposit, opening balance equity. Uh, and if you don't want uh, this one to some other account, you can manually change it later on. Uh, but that's the default type. Uh, so that's what happens when you uh, use that opening balance for your bank account. Okay, so now I have, uh, in this case, if you just the chase checking, the chase checking. We didn't put any opening balance, so there's nothing there. And uh, as I said, the uh, if you're going to sync this to your uh, bank account, uh, they'll also create an opening balance when you download transactions. Then you'll have one thousand dollar twice. Uh, uh, if not, then you can do this one. Okay, so that's one thing. All right, so uh, there's a bank account. Here's one thousand dollars. You will see it in here. In here, you will see all the balance for uh, ba uh, balance it accounts from bank to uh, equity in here, and you don't see any uh, any uh, balance for uh, income statement accounts. Uh, the reason is this one is adds up, and this one they change uh, within um, you know within 12 months. Uh, but it, there's a, there's a way to uh, format this to show the balance for these two. So that's on a different video. Okay, so that's one thing. And uh, uh, let's say uh, you want to create uh, uh, expense, new account for expense, no problem. So normally uh, you have to look at it here and you know to open a new account. Uh, you know if, if you really need it, then you, you will create a new one. If it's close enough, you know you can use the other account. Then you can just stay with that account uh, because the reason is when you run a report, you don't want to have a long uh, financial statement. So right now, uh, this is uh, normally you want to fit this in one page report. You don't want to make it two pages or three pages, something like that, uh, or one and a half. Uh, that's too long for for uh, for even for large company and they will have like a one page uh, profit and loss statement okay uh, and uh, same thing with the, uh, the balance sheet accounts as well so uh, balance sheet right here 
it's normally it's just like a it's one page thing okay and let's say uh, you want to create a credit card those these are the ones you really uh, create new ones and uh, it's normally when you create a new company file they're all here uh, so let's say you want to create a uh, one for a credit card all you have to do is just select right here one for credit card right here okay and let's say this is uh, uh, American Express okay uh, and then just save it uh, if you're gonna download statement you don't want to use opening balance uh, now you can just uh, if there's an opening balance for your credit card you can enter it here uh, or enter it manually uh, depends you know if you have a, a transaction long list and you may want to think you know before you use this one opening balance so I'm gonna save it so now it's right here let's say uh, it's right here opening American Express if it's a new uh, just a uh, new uh, uh, credit card you know uh, there's no opening balance then you know uh, you just enter a transaction come in here enter a transaction right here American Express and if there's another one we can also add new one from here as well is the account type is correct make sure the account type is is the correct type you know you don't want to have a credit for car and choose bank account or uh, or uh, other current liability type you know so for your credit card if you want this screen to you know you want to use then you're going to select this one right here and uh, uh, and if there is a credit refund or credit you know then select this one the screen color is different and make sure when you enter it it's on the purchase or charge side uh, sometime you know you could go back to the uh, credit and when you enter charges, it may you know go to the wrong wrong form here. Okay, so all you have to do is just select the account and enter it. So that's uh, that's on different video how to enter uh, credit card charges. Uh, so basically that's about it on uh, account uh, creating a new account. It's pretty straightforward, and the whole idea is you don't want to create too many uh, accounts, you know, and uh, uh, it's already here, you know, so uh, if you really need it and something is missing here, then you want to create it uh, So that's how it works uh, well, thank you for watching this video and uh, uh, Subscribe uh, to our YouTube channels We have two channels and also like us on Facebook. Thank you